Hello there, Leo. Okay. So let's talk about your financial situation first. We do have here the Ten of Pentacles as well. I'm sorry, the Two of Pentacles as well as the Ten of Cups. Now, the Two of Pentacles is a situation where you are potentially weighing out the pros and cons, where you are managing, where you are like uh, struggling as well, shuffling around in order to keep the family unit together, in order to keep things afloat, in order to maintain this idyllic type of a marriage situation, okay? There might be disharmony within the household unit. And I do feel that, you know, as the pillar of the um, family foundation, um, you are very, very much committed into making a situation work. So a lot of you, I feel almost like you you have this energy um, of Atlas. You're carrying the burden of the world on your shoulders. You're trying to accommodate everyone. And a lot of you, you have very, very strong emotional ties to the family unit. So that could be your childhood home. That could be the home that you are creating for yourself, the family situation that you are creating for yourself. I do feel that, you know, children growing up um, very rapidly, I, I do feel that financial resources are draining as well uh, as a result of them growing up very quickly. And because of it, I do feel that you're trying to find ways to, you know, manage the responsibilities of being a parent, being a worker, being a mother, father, being a wife, husband. And I do feel that these things are going to be, uh, there's a like a balance, a very, very fine balancing act that you are going to have to, to struggle through for this month in order to keep the family unit floating, functioning, and uh, in order, okay? A little bit of a disheveled energy surrounding the home environment. A lot of things are happening. And I do feel that um, just make sure you take care of your health situation. And, you know, health encompasses more than just your physical health. Make sure you are in a state of mind where your partner is chipping in and that everyone is doing their fair share of the work. Otherwise, it can take a toll on the relationship, the significant relationship that you have, as well as your mental health. Okay, so keep that in check. What I'm also sensing is for a lot of you, there might be some type of... Um, travel arrangement like travels a, a lot of you might have a lot of people in your own um, exclusive home environment or family unit and there might be some vacation plans there might be some travel in the picture but I feel that finances are a little bit short there might be a lot of people so then as a result of it the financial arrangement in terms of allowing everybody to travel it's uh, it requires a little bit of dithering it requires a little bit of compromise back and forth and you know um, juggling things a little bit in order to make ends meet so that you can physically travel together as a unit. Um, the other side of this is I just feel a lot of expenditures as well happening in the home environment as well as navigating all the energies, disparate energies of other people in the home environment in order to make it harmonious, okay? Don't drop the ball this month, but you know, at the same time, go easy on yourself. Make sure the uh, other partner that you're in the home with are also reciprocating. I do feel like there's a single parent energy here where you are potentially driving the children back and forth between you and your former spouse's house or, you know, the, the father or the mother of the children. And as a result of it, there's a very busy energy connected to children overall. In terms of your communication, um, we have the Page of Swords as well as the Five of Wands. Now, there is an unnecessary conflict that is brewing in your midst, and it is telling me that it is smart for you not to even engage in it, okay? It's an unnecessary conflict. It is avoidable as well, so I feel like you are getting embroiled into a long-standing situation with another person. Um, this can be in work, household environment, especially pertaining to rowdy children or some unruly element within the uh, family unit. Or it can be, I feel like more so on the work front or amongst children, if you tend to have like three or more children, okay? If you have like a blended family as well, um, a lot of discord might start to show up where the children are not getting along with each other. Just know that it's not a, a deal breaker. I feel like this is a temporary energy where people's tempers are flaring for no reason, but they are also going to... Um, calm themselves down. So this is not a situation that is going to be uh, per, uh, prevalent, pervasive or prevalent throughout the entire month. And this is just, you know, minor irritations that we're dealing with either in the work front, dealing with other people, 
people we are collaborating with or dealing with younger younger people like uh, children and things like that. Uh, what I'm also sensing is um, you are being, you know, pulled into this situation and it's totally avoidable. Okay, so do your best to uh, try to figure out. I feel that for a lot of you, you might be relied upon to play mediator for this month amongst like some type of dispute. You are the voice of reason. So it is really important for you to try to maintain fair balance and be, you know, like... Um, See both sides of the story. Don't jump to conclusions, okay? You might be called out to be mediator. So try to play devil's advocate. Try to look at both sides of the story. And at least, you know, half the whole story first before you jump to conclusions about anything pertaining to like a resolution or some type of a um, judgment call, all right? Now, the next card here, we do have the Tower as well as the Four of Cups. And I am going to say this is more on the relationship front, okay? Uh, first of all, the Four of Cups is a, in this spread, it is a situation where we are ruminating, we are thinking about something and we're not taking action on it, okay? With the Tower card, the Tower indicates some type of a breakdown, some type of a, um, I guess like a 180 turn around, unexpected turn of events when it pertains to the household environment. So for a lot of you, there might be some financial worries and things like that coming in from the house environment where the house might not might have physical problems with it might have structural problems or there could be some type of a dispute surrounding the home environment what i'm also feeling as well is there are a, i feel like a lot of people circulating around you you know it is the summertime so we tend to have like a lot of family gatherings uh, graduations and you know just a, a lot of um, very very major family milestones as well so this could you know create op more opportunities for family members to meet up and come together and as a result we're, we're dealing with a lot of like conflicting energy coming through from family members what I'm feeling here is we've got an air sign as well so it pertains to a person that is very different from us you know different element different communication styles so I do feel that it is really important for you once again to play mediator you might be called upon to be like you know to play um, marriage counselor to a friend of yours or a family member of yours who are contemplating separation or marriage okay if you have children with somebody who's no longer in the picture there might be some changes within the financial arrangement with that person and they can no longer be paying alimony or child support in the manner that you'd hope so I do feel there is some type of um, structural jarring issues within the household unit within the physical location that you're looking at I do feel this is something that has been in the picture that has you know shown itself within the past four months which indicates to me that you were trying to find a fair and um, best solution to this. And I feel like in the past, you might not have acted on it because you were still thinking, you were still trying to formulate a plan. And then this is the month in which everything comes to light so that you can no longer sweep it under the rug and then you have to address it as soon as it comes in. I do feel this is not a situation that you want to be caught in the middle of. So if you are nowhere emotionally or even tangentially related to the problem at hand, for example, if you're caught between two friends who are dating and they're no longer together, I do feel that if you're not related to that issue or if it's, you know, you don't want to be the go between or the middleman, it's important for you to draw the line, draw boundaries and just tell the other person, the other couple, you know, like I'm friends with you both and I don't want to have to choose sides. I do feel for a lot of you as well, if you are a little bit younger watching this, if you are put in a situation where there is some discord within the family and you might have to pick sides, don't pick. Just sit on the sidelines and let the situation boil over because I feel that you are emotionally rattled as a result of it. But it doesn't, it's something happening around you. It doesn't directly pertain to you. So let it be and let the energy boil over. Let the parties that are immediately involved in it take care of it themselves, okay? There's no need to get worked up over somebody else's karma that doesn't pertain to you. So be careful about this, okay? Now, in terms of your energy, we do have the Prince of Wands as well as the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups indicates a situation where... So this pertains to love and relationships and contracts and things like that. 
So the Two of Cups indicates a coming together between two very, very um, like-minded energy. I do feel for a lot of you, you are potentially traveling to um, meet a romantic partner. You are traveling in order to reconnect with another person, in order, order to smooth some things out with another person. Um, I do feel there is a lot of passion associated with this as well, which indicates to me a very strong um, sense of like physical chemistry, sexual chemistry, but also emotional chemistry between you and another person. It's the soulmate aspect, okay? For a lot of you, this might be an air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. And I do feel as well that it indicates to me, um, this is a situation, it seems to me like you've had some problems with this person in the past in order to, you know, reach some state of harmony. I do feel that you were a little bit, um, I feel like slow on the uptake. So you were sitting there thinking and overthinking and ruminating over this situation, like, should I or shouldn't I? Should I go for it or shouldn't I go for it? Um, do I want to commit myself or do I want to just date very casually? So there has been something like um, that that really, really stirs your passion or another person that really stirs your passion. But I didn't feel that you were acting on it. You weren't sure-footed and you're not really sure if this is something that you're ready to emotionally invest in. Because a lot of you have gotten out of troublesome situations. You were getting your financial situation in order. You had a lot on your plate. And as a result of it, you don't know if you want to re-engage with another relationship like this. For others of you, you might have recently gotten through a divorce, moved out of a home environment, or somewhat pushed out of a home environment. I feel that you were dealing with a very strong karmic connection with another person where, you know, you um, you have a very long rooted history. I do feel that if this is somebody from the past, I don't advise clients usually to go back to a situation from their past. But what I feel is happening here is you might be tempted to return to a situation from your past. So let me just say, you know, up front, if it is a situation from your past and you feel like, okay, I have sufficiently grown, mature, and I know how to fix this problem. And here are some of the things in which I have grown. Uh, ways in which I have grown. Here are some of the new things that we can implement as a couple, as a unit. And the other person has sufficiently shown me they that they themselves have mature, have grown, and have changed. If you can honestly tell yourself that, then try to go back and reconcile this situation. Take it very slowly and see how things are going to go. I do feel there is a very strong air energy. So this is uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. There's also a water element associated with this as well. So this is going to be like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So if you're dealing with either one of those signs and it's a long-standing issue, make sure that both sides have sufficiently grown up in order to re-engage, okay? On the other hand, I definitely see new connections, new contracts coming through for you as a result of some type of a travel opportunity. Uh, if you have been having, you know, if you're in a relationship, for example, and you have been quite stressed out, quite worried, I do feel taking a trip, like retreating with your significant other, will strengthen and reconnect the bonds between the relationship. What I'm also feeling as well is that um, take a little bit more time to really nurture your significant other, nurture the other person, and, and you know, make some gestures to thank them for the things that they have, the value that they have added to your life, as well as the things that they have, you know, helped you with in the past. Because I feel like this is the month in which. Uh, gratitude is going to basically uh, repair a lot of rifts, a lot of emotional distance within relationships, okay? On the other hand, I definitely feel some contracts finalizing. So if you are on a client basis, like you're working and you're trying to procure clients and you're traveling, you're doing either sales gigs, consultations, or you're doing some type of situation, you're in some type of a work situation where you have to go out and make sure, you know, land clients, make sure they sign contracts. A lot of contracts are being signed. A lot of success is coming through for you. Now, success is coming through for this month, but I don't feel the money is going to be equivalent to the success that you feel. The money is trickling in very, very slowly, so don't bank on this success and go and blow your money. Um, make sure that 
whatever. So, for example, if you're getting like a lot of um, uh, if you're you you work on a commission basis and you feel like okay I've got like 15 deals that that came through this month and you go ahead and just spend the money that you're anticipating those 15 deals would bring you I don't feel that's a good idea because I feel there is a little bit of a delay when it comes to getting some type of royalty check commission check bonuses um, winnings earnings and, and things like that okay so take it very very slow and don't spend recklessly because i feel like the money is not coming in fast enough to replenish the rate in which you are spending so curb the tendency to you know project ahead of time how much money is coming through and how much i can spend based on what the money is coming through so be uh, mindful about that okay leos in terms of the advice, what I have here for you, I um, have four cards and this Princess of Wands, this one came out together with the Six of Wands, so I'm going to read them together as a unit. So first of all, there is definitely a lot of guaranteed major success for you in the work environment and I don't feel this is success that is falling on your lap. I feel that you've had to go out of your way. You have to make those phone calls. You've had to like really, you know, go out and basically hustle in order for you to land all these contracts, in order for you to carve a little uh, niche market for yourself, in order for you to attract the right types of investors, the right type of clients, the right types of portfolios, things like that. So a lot of diligent hard work on your end is paying dividends and you're getting a lot of success and you're getting a lot of of work coming through okay for others of you who are stably employed I definitely feel there might be a situation where you are like um, getting a promotion or possibly two different promotions one of them might be geographically like uh, a little bit further from where you are working right now the other one might be in the uh, general proximity and you are trying to weigh out you know pros and cons like do I want to take the further option or do I want to stay where I am or do I want to take the option that is you know in my immediate environment because I feel like there is something about moving a family unit as a result of work or contemplation about you know work geography and family so all of these things are in the picture as well but I definitely feel a lot of success coming through on the work front pertaining to your past efforts, your diligence, your hard work. And um, I feel like your the charisma of your, your energy that you're bringing to the work environment paying off and you're going to get a lot of accolades and very positive reception as a, a result, okay? Um, a lot of you might be in a um, seminar, like um, you might be a speaker, you might use your voice, you might um, have some very like, um, you might have a huge following or like a large audience that you're doing speaking engagements to, so you might bounce around quite a bit. And as a result, I do feel that there is some type of um, energy coming through where success comes through through the way that you communicate with others so you might be a public speaker you might give seminars you might give lessons where you are in the limelight and you're showing people how to do something uh, like you're you're passing on a skill set that you have to other people you're showing people how to do things and you're dealing with very young energy so you could also be in the speaking you know in this uh, teaching profession as well but you're going to get a lot of accolades um, be mindful about getting enough sleep, okay? I feel like a lot of bouncy energy. And, you know, as a fire sign, you naturally have a lot of energy, but you want to direct it towards, it's kind of like work smart. It's like working smart. So conserve your energy, but also like um, find a better streamlined way of exerting your energy so that you're not overtaxing yourself, Okay. In terms of relationship aspects, self-esteem and all of these things, there is definitely major, major reconciliation healing within on a soul level. This is between another person and you. If you had had strife in the past, I definitely feel there is some type of a reconciliation in which two people can sit down and hash out their differences. I definitely feel overcoming major strife 
coming through. I also feel that a lot of you are implementing a major, major move, transformation in your own life, in your own sense of self-worth, in your own sense of, you know, how do I align myself so that I can pursue a path that is better for myself on a spiritual, on an emotional, and even financial level. So a lot of you are thinking long-term, and a lot of you, unfortunately, I, I feel like there might be people you're living with that you have to move away from. There might also be, um, like, if you're dealing with some separations, a lot of that is going to, you know, finalize this month in which you're able to move on on your own because we do have a very solitary card which is you at the end of the spread which indicates a brand new phase which indicates new messages coming through from other people going back to this soulmate connection for a lot of you you are making a new connection with very very like-minded people this can be in friendships social network professional networks but also on the love sector as well which means that you are starting to see your own self-worth because by in the process of surrounding yourself with like-minded people, you are coming to a sense of you know appreciating the gifts that you have to offer the world, appreciating the talents, the assets that you bring onto the table. So there is definitely going to be a boost to your self-esteem. But in the meantime, and then if there are things that I need to clarify, I'll do those as well. I'll pull out like an additional card for each thing, each item on here that I need clarification on. I'm going to pull out another card for the Six of Cups. This is a soulmate connection, a very, very strong soulmate connection. Okay. And then another one for the Devil. The Devil is in the reverse, which is a good placement for the Devil because a lot of you are overcoming like old patterns of relating to another person or a lot of you who are dating, you're out looking for a different type of people to date altogether. So you're letting go of situations where... Um, you're scattering your energies, okay? So there's definitely some movement happening for you on the love relationship front. So let's just say first, for those of you who are single and dating, okay? If you're not dating anybody exclusively, if you're just out there on the market, or if you're single and you're not even looking, I definitely feel this is a very, very good month for attracting other you know people to date in general we do have the seven of cups here and the seven of cups indicates like basically a lot of options that are in store for you as you can see this man he's almost like blinded by all of these options keep in mind options are there but it is our free will that will dictate who we are going to go with and who we are going to end up with all of these options all basically it's telling me that all that glitter is not gold so you want to be very mindful about directing your energy towards the right path I do feel for a lot of you for a while now I feel like you have many suitors that are interested in you you are a very dynamic sign and you know without even um, having to lift a finger you command a lot of attention so it is really important for you not to scatter your energy and go down routes that are not good for you or are not positive for you if initially you interact with somebody and you feel like for some reason the energy is not um, is not smooth, is kind of shaky or is kind of like jarring, it is really important for you to take a step back and, you know, figure out why whether or not the the um, and the energy interference is coming from you or from them a lot of the times you know like from just from the initial first date or second date third date or so if the energy is very disruptive it's pretty much the universe's way of telling you that maybe that person is not going to be on your wavelength okay so i feel it's really important to really really hone down on the energies of the people that you're dealing with and to see if the interaction is smooth or if it's a little bit abrasive or if it's a little bit jarring okay now I do feel crowning this reading here is the six of cups and the six of cups crowning this reading is a lot of you are thinking about a person that you have a very strong connection with okay 
um, I feel like this is, you know, one of those situations where it might be, first of all, let, let's talk about this interpretation, where you feel like you and another person are meant to be. But once again, I want you to read the energy. I want you to just, you know, spend time, reflect over your interaction with them. Was it harmonious? Did you have to like over explain every single thing? Because they just don't understand things from the same perspective that you do. If that sounds familiar, it means it's a false soulmate connection. It means that it's a wishful thinking on your end because you have this mold and you're trying desperately to fit the other person into the mold, okay? Because what's coming through here is I do have the King of Swords in the reverse position. Be very careful for those of you who are dealing with an air sign. This person might be very, very intelligent. Air signs are Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. They might command a lot of, you know, uh, respect. They might be in a position of power. They might also be somebody who's very quick-witted, who is very, very funny. And um, I feel like they're just very intelligent. And I feel that you're mesmerized by them. And I feel almost as if, they are larger than life in your eyes. So as a result of it, you want to be with them. And you forming this picture about this perfect soulmate type of a union. And you're trying desperately to fit them into the picture. And so once again, if the interaction between you and this other person has been somewhat difficult, I want you to really re-examine if it's just wishful thinking on your end, okay? On the other hand, for a lot of you, you might have an ex that is an air sign, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, whom you have children with. If this is the case, I do feel there is some type of a, a reconciliation or some type of a reunion happening. You know, like um, it, there might be a party and you both are going to be there because, you know, you have joint custody of children or you have like mutual friends or you might have even family members that are uh, that you're still very close to with this other person. I feel like this might have been somebody from your past and they might be making a comeback into your life. I do feel that if it's from your end, a lot of you have outgrown this other person, this air sign potentially, and you are finding ways to have a harmonious, you know, cordial relationship with them just to ease the transactions or the just to ease the interaction between you and this person when dealing with children, okay? A lot of you are overcoming bad habits. And this means dating the same types of people over and over and over again. They might be different people, but the way the relationship unfolds, it's kind of like, you know, the smoothly between you and this person. They might be a little bit authoritative. They might be prone to, you know, showing off, trying to impress you and um, making empty promises, but not having the ability to follow through. This is the month for you to sift the fact from fiction. All right. Uh, for those of you who are in stable relationship, I do feel some stressor on the work front, um, taking you like taking time from you, like quality time from you that you should be spending with the children or the significant other. OK, so some type of work situation interfering in the quality time that you have um, or even cutting your time short when you are spending with a significant other. I definitely feel that work projects are um taking precedence instead of, you know, love relationship. So make sure you, you know, um, try to balance that out and try to really carve out time for your significant other, all right? Um, I feel very strongly for a lot of you, there might be some temptation around you if you are in a relationship. There might be some temptations that is still circling in your environment, but you're making a conscious decision not to stray and to be honorable and to try to do the right thing. So I definitely feel that for a lot of you, it's taking a lot of inner strength from your end not to step outside of the relationship and not to fall prey to temptation, which is a very, very beautiful energy, okay? So overall, a pretty good month, especially for those of you who are coupled up because I feel like um, some, some type of for yourself. I believe I am booked out until like the last week of June. I do wish you the best, Leos, and I'll come back as well for the mid-month reading, okay? So enjoy the rest of, well, the first two weeks of your month and wish you all the best. Be very, very patient when it comes to dealing with, um, like, conflict within your work environment, okay? Uh, take care of yourself, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.